What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Overlord. Today we are doing season four, episode 12. This one is called Invasion of the Royal Capital. First off, I just want to say shouts out to you in the comments that give me all the extra non spoilery specifically details that just add more lore and world building to the world, like how one of the members of the slain theocracy elite hero club, the ones that was talking to Azuth and the Blue Rose, the one that looked just like Clementine from season one is Clementine's brother. I mean, I, I, I was like the hair looks very similar, but just shouts out to you guys. I always appreciate it. I'm very excited for the not this episode, well, this episode as well, but next episode is the finale. So hopefully it is very exciting. If you guys are excited as I am, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut version of this episode, as well as the other shows I'm doing on the channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Let's hop right on into this. Um, Overlord Season 4, Episode 12, Invasion of the Royal Capital. Let's do it. Pandora's actor is letting him know exactly how it went. Albedo's like, you shouldn't have to grovel lower the image of Ainz like that. I love the... I love how Abedo never takes slights to Ainz at all. Chaltier, no one hates any disrespect towards Ainz, but he's always the one that's cool with it. Now, you did a great job, Pandora's actor. Why not do it, you know? I love Ainz's perspective sometimes. Only thing you hurt is your pride, and pride is the devil. True. I'd be down to see that. Where are we going to do it? <laughs> Where are we going to do it? <laughs> They're all shocked. You're willing to take another L? Mm-hmm. True. I actually like that. Like, we, even though we're OP as a main character, we cannot go, we can't be stupid, you know? The six great gods and the eight greed kings were players like me. See, I need the world building in this. I need to know more about them. Ooh. Yeah, touche. They never come back in their stories, you know? So I'm very curious. I love how he goes in with the perspective thinking that all these legendary mythical tales of other beings or most likely players or, or people that he would know in Indrasil, you know? We're back with uh, Climb, Renner, and Brain delivering some supplies and useful things to the children in need. <laughs> Situations like these would make me so much happier if I didn't know Renner was an absolute deranged psycho lady, you know? One day, one day and one episode from now, you know, far from now, Brain and Climb will know the truth. Oh, the Blue Roses. One of my favorite squads. <laughs> They're like, just because you don't want to, you know. I see. I didn't even pick up on that. I mean, Gagron wants to drink 10 liters. We gotta make more tea, you know? I gotta remember going into any conversation, especially in this kingdom now, that they're going into it with the full expectation most of the people are gonna die. <laughs> She did say she was going to make it super bitter. I don't know about that one. Whoa, someone took up. Wait. Those are like poisoned needles. What is going on? I was just saying how much I like Lakias. What? Why? They stabbed her. Bro, they are jumping her. She has like needles sticking all. She is fucked up. So they needed to significantly weaken her to be able to have Evil Eye do that on her. But why did they need... 
I I didn't know. I didn't believe that. I was confused for a second there. So they did this to prevent her from just killing herself, you know. Okay, so thankfully it's of her benefit. And they're still homies and being all, but I'm, I, that just took me back. Okay. Oh, it's still a lug based spell. That's so crazy. Shouts out to the blue rose. That just shocked me. Okay, so brain. That's why they had brain leave as well, so that you know. Like, what the hell just happened? What the hell is going on? Just like Gaza, my man sticks through it to the end. Respect it. I kind of did as well. All right, Blue Rose. Where are you going, good sir? Just like, uh, just like our boy. That alone won't even happen, sadly. Not even close. That was a crazy little arc. I really like them as a team. Sebus, Climb, and Brain. Now we're starting to get some uh, vengeful thoughts. I mean, yeah, but I don't like the way she's saying that. He's like, be careful, princess. For it being considerably heavy, she can handle a sword relatively well. That's what I'm saying. Is he being serious about that? I don't I don't know. He might just be being nice, but She's like Kushida from uh Classroom of the Elite to me. I hate that fake smile she puts on all the time. If she really took her mask off, she would never have that smile on. That was quite the way to break down the front gates. Freeze it over and then just easily destroy it. Kakaitis. Ooh. Ooh, as well as a lot of the guards. Oh. He's camping here, expecting to get through the army to find the Sorcerer King. Little does he know, Eyes isn't even coming. Oh, I love that. I love that animation. I love how it looks. Everything's just freezing as he walks past. That's our big boy. So if you can take him down. We've got a fucking army of the old Sotsukis behind us. This is quite the showdown. I know. Kokaitis versus Brain. As an honorable duel, they both have to give each other their name. Proper introductions. I love how Kokaitis is willing to take people seriously as well. The God Slaying Emperor Blade? That literally looks like straight out of Elden Ring. Swear to God. It's all going to come down to one slash. It's like a... It legit is like a samurai duel. He's going to his absolute limits. You see the blood coming in his eyes, coming out of his nose. This man is doing the absolute pinnacle of everything he can do. The true nail clipper. Ooh. Both of them slashed. But Kakaitis came out victorious. It is a god slaying emperor blade, whatever he called it. That looks so badass. Yeah. That was never that would never happen, but I wish. I respect that deeply, Kakaitis. I agree with that as well, even though I did not know your creator, Takemi Kazuchi, like that. I always respect Kakaitis for that. We technically... So, Brain 100% lost that, not even a challenge for Kakaitis. But like Kakaitis said, he could be a very valuable asset. So we could revive him, we could do this, that, or the other. We're preserving his almost dead body in ice. So they preserved his body in ice, and out of respect, walked completely around him to continue their goal. Why is Kakaitis so respectful? I love it. 
Shouts out my boy. He does whatever is needed to be done. If Ian says do it, he'll do it. But he'll do it in the most honorable way. I gotta give a shout out to Brain though. Wait, what? That, that was the that that was the episode. Well, this final episode, next episode is I'm assuming gonna be the finale of this invasion, the finale of King Ramposa's reign, I guess, as king. But my only question is then like. Is anything crazy gonna happen? Is it gonna leave us off for a cliffhanger for season five? Like, I've just, I'm just surprised at how different this story of this season was than I thought it was gonna be, if I'm being honest with you. Like the Quagoa, the dwarves, the runes, this, to Sa, and Mr. Azuth. I was not expecting any of this. It's just crazy. I gotta give a absolute huge shout out to both Brain and Kokaitis for Brain doing you know what he, he 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 was laying his life on the line he knew he was not making out of here he was gonna just give his life to do whatever attempt he could at, at Ainz's life but he couldn't even get to Ainz. Ainz isn't even here he had to fight Kokaitis Kokaitis being the honorable I feel like Kokaitis is the only um floor leader the floor guardian that would do that that would honor him preserve him take his sword as a trophy not even like in a in a disrespectful way like, I, I can't picture anyone else. Maybe Sebus. Not even because Sebus, like, knows Brain like that. But Sebus seems like he's an honorable dude. But I just really respect Kaitis for that, you know? Especially because his, his warrior creator, Takemi Kazuchi, you know? It probably instilled those those morals into him. And I, I fuck with that heavy. Like, I always like that in any anime. Where someone just overwhelmingly stronger than the other one still, still treats the other one with respect. Because they're willing to lay their life on the line and 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 face a warrior's death you know like you can't you can't diminish that resolve there's nothing that can take away from that you know so i respect kokaitis i respect brain um i was gonna say i respect the blue rose but i was just i was shocked i was like i was like what are they doing to lucky it's my girl but they cared about her they just needed to fuck her up so they could control her have her heal herself and not now nah, let's get out of here let's get out of here you don't need to die for this bullshit which i respect them somewhat because they're willing to do whatever is necessary to save their friends but also i respect lachius no matter what they would have said she would have done her job and died for it you know that's a real adventure right there it's a real it's a real fucking damn that episode was over in a flash i'm a little butthurt i wish i had the next one right now if you guys did enjoy please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel Check out that Patreon if you guys want the full uncut version of this episode, as well as the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.